the, the agri industries, uh, farmers associations and companies integrating this, this uh, council, looking for uh, uh, opportunities to increase the, the production in Mexico. So uh, we all, all know what is happening in agriculture worldwide or across, across the world. The same happens in Mexico. The weather is a, a challenge. Uh, the technology, um, the teaching the farmers how to use the technologies is, is also a challenge. We have in Mexico more than four million, five, probably five million small uh, farmers. Uh, or uh, in total, we have uh, production units uh, more than five million that we need to teach in, in how to use the new technologies. So. Uh, for sure, we need to increase the production to, to feed all the population in the world. Mexico is one of the key players in food productions in, in the world. Uh, in Mexico, to give an, an idea, we will, not, we will need to feed uh, in the 2050 uh, the same population Canada has now. In incremental population for Mexico is around almost 40 million, in addition the 130, almost 30, 128 million we have now, uh, we will need to feed another 40 million. So, uh, and we need also to produce, uh, and if we, need to, if we need to summarize what is uh, the reality of Mexico, what is the opportunity for those investors or those companies that want to participate in Mexico? The, the world is, uh, the world is uh, uh, technification. The only alternative that Mexico has to feed all this uh, population and to increase the exportations are, uh, are referred uh, or are uh, based on, on uh, technology. Uh, the weather uh, represents a lot of opportunities for uh, agricultural uh, farmers or producers. For sure, there are technologies that uh, help the farmers to be resilient uh, to this uh, situation. Also, uh, resilience uh, in terms of uh, not only weather but also in uh, soil in uh, other uh, challenges the farmers are, are facing the technology is the solution and uh, the global supply uh, in mexico has been doubled uh, since uh, 1970 um, and is uh, the number of people that we have uh, uh, Given more, more, more food is, uh, I mean, uh, we are 30% more of uh, uh, the, the, the hunger in the, in, the, in, the, in the world has been reduced basically because of the incremental production we have had in the world. And well, that a reality is also that the, the bushel of maize or uh, to produce the, the, the meat is uh, cost less now than 50 years ago. The, the production, the productivity in, in the ranch or with the farmers has been uh, more efficient in the last in the last years. And uh, agriculture never stops. Uh, we need to feed the, the population with or without COVID, with or without uh, weather conditions. We need to find alternatives to to produce the amount of uh, food that we need to produce. And for this, we need to be more resilient to the, the production systems, uh, but doing this uh, environmentally uh, sustainable. And uh, this, uh, this uh, means that we need to invest in technologies to, to do this, uh, in this uh, with, with these characteristics, sustainable, resilient, and attractive or uh, profitable for the farmers or, or the participants in the, in the value chain. So uh, we all know that we need to, to look for uh, protect the environment. Also, there is a lot of uh, protocols or uh, secondary standards that we need to, to uh, deliver. Uh, the consumers are demanding, are more demanding each, uh, each uh, year, demanding more characteristics, uh, healthy food, with better uh, nutrition, nutrient uh, characteristics. Um, and Mexico is, the, uh, as uh, Bernardo mentioned, it is uh, in the position number 11 in terms of uh, food. We have a surplus of um, almost uh, 
not 11, 12 uh, billion US dollars. We will see the, the figures ahead. We are exporting uh, to 130 countries. Uh, we have a uh, 30 free trade agreements with uh, 50 countries. Uh, we are uh, planting more than 20 million hectares in, in, in the country. And as an, I, I mentioned it, we have more than 5 million people dedicated to agriculture. So it's a, it's a big opportunity for investors here in, in Mexico. Where are the, the productions in Mexico? We are, we are uh, depending on uh, mainly grains. Uh, we are importing the, the, this uh, table, which you can see the, in the left side, the, all the, uh, the products we are importing. We are the number one importer of corn in the world. Uh, almost uh, 3,000 bi uh, 3 billion US dollars, 3,000 million US dollars uh, the last year. Um, but you can see all the all the all the products we are importing mainly grains and uh, meat, eggs. Uh, so there is an, a big opportunity here. And uh, we are exporting uh, uh, tropical fruits, mainly tropical fruits and vegetables that complement the production in, in the US, Canada, avocados, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, mangoes, all, all those products that Mexico considering the weather conditions uh, has a, an advantage to produce uh, across the, the year. So we are exporting all these products, mainly tropical fruits and, and some uh, vegetables. In terms of, in terms of ag agro-industry, we are importing pork, meat, and a lot of uh, the products that you, that you can see here, that you will have this in, in the presentation. Uh, we are importing, uh, from last year, for, was almost 14, uh, was, uh, 14 uh, billion US dollars in, in all these products. And in terms of exportation, uh, Basically, uh, beer, tequila, uh, bakery, pork, sugars are part of those products we are exporting. Almost 21 uh, billion US dollars in exportation from all these products. So you can see where are the opportunities here in Mexico in terms of uh, production that to export and to import uh, into Mexico. This is the, the surplus Mexico ha has had in the last years in terms of uh, agri-food. Agri you can see that in, since uh, the 15, we have had a, a positive uh, trade balance in agriculture and uh, the opportunities are increasing in Mexico. Um, where are these investments? Uh, uh, foreign investment uh, directed is uh, almost 50% in the left side, 50% uh, or the half is agriculture. Animal breeding and exploitation is for almost 40%, and services 15%. And the, in terms of agro, agro industry, uh, in the right side, uh, uh, beverage, to, uh, tobacco industry is 73%, and food industry is uh, 27%. Uh, uh, this is uh, the third quarter of agro industry, it will jump this. And this is a map when, in terms of uh, products, where Mexico is uh, or has a uh, production, uh, a superavit in production or a deficit. The deficit is in the uh, left side, the red, red bar. As I mentioned, it, a grain uh, or uh, cereals is the, the main deficit in Mexico. Uh, in terms of, uh, for example, uh, wheat and barley, we are importing almost 50% of the internal needs. In terms of uh, rice, we are importing 90% of uh, the rice we consume in Mexico. And corn, we are importing one third of the internal needs. Uh, soya, probably 90%, around 90%. So, and you can see the, the, the position we have in each uh, of, the, of the products. As I mentioned, it, uh, tropical fruits and vegetables is the area where we are exporting. As uh, Bernardo mentioned, it, the protected agriculture is increasing in Mexico because of this uh, ex uh, external demand. I mean, the Canada, US are demanding more products or more volumes. Uh, and we are increasing the areas to, to satisfy the demand on those products. 
Uh, where, the, where are the opportunities? I, I mentioned it. Uh, techn technification is the word. What the farmers? Uh, what are the main concerns or what are the the needs we need to satisfy or or to support with the farmers? Is one is high costs of uh, supplies and services. If we have uh, better technologies or we have uh, some services or something that helps uh, farmers to reduce costs, for example, was mentioning the application of uh, drones for uh, agrochemicals. That's uh, an example where the farmers are optimizing the application is more precise application, most efficient. And in, in some areas where the planes or uh, tractors are not uh, possible to be used because of the size of the farms, the drones, is, is, uh, drones are a good uh, alternative to, to support the farmers there and reduce costs. Uh, commercialization, also having visibility of the, the prices in the market or connecting the, the, the value chain is an opportunity. There is a lot of uh, opportunities in terms of technology to connect this uh, with farmers. Uh, as uh, I mentioned it before, uh, technical assistance, also having technologies to access uh, the knowledge or to approach or put that knowledge to the farmers uh, closer is an opportunity. Fertility of the soil, uh, commercialization of intermediaries, uh, insufficient infrastructure for production as well. In some areas, uh, there is uh, some opportunities uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure, insecurity. Um, for example, uh, uh, digital uh, agriculture is an opportunity in terms of insecurity. Many farmers are using um, uh, some uh, tools or tablets to follow uh, all the uh, production process since the office without the needs to go to the to the farms. The technicians uh, they put all the information in the tablets and the, the farmers can track the farms uh, from the office, from the home, in any part. So it's just a, a simple example we can, how we can support the farmers on, on this. And there is another uh, uh, opportunities that you can see there, there. but those are the, the main needs that the farmer has here in Mexico. The value of the production and main crop is uh, corn, avocado, sugarcane, um, chile, uh, agave, that is uh, to, for, to produce tequila, tomatoes, uh, pastures, alfalfa, strawberries, lemons, and a lot of, uh, as you can see, one of the characteristics of uh, Mexico compared with other countries is the variability of opportunities is not uh, based on one or two crops is we have more or less uh, like 30 relevant crops for, for mexico so the opportunities are uh, widespread across the country and in different crops and type of uh, produ producers uh, in terms of technology uh, we have uh, as i mentioned in almost 5 million uh, production units 1.5 million has some kind of technology of information you can see on the right side, the mobile, we have almost 1.2 million farmers with the mobile. So we can approach some technologies with them using all these uh, uh, alternatives we have here. And in conclusions, um, in Mexico, we are a, a relevant player in uh, food produ uh, production worldwide. Technology and all those companies that has technologies to offer in Mexico has a a huge opportunity to, to invest. Uh, uh, Mexico is, uh, has a very competitive advantage in uh, semi-tropical and tropical conditions uh, because we can produce across the, the year. And we have very robust phytosanitary standards in the country also to support and secure the exportation in all those countries where we have uh, uh, commercial agreements. Thank you, uh, Javier. Uh, thank you to, to all the speakers. Uh, uh, we have one question uh, here uh, so far, and, and, and if any other has questions, please, well, you can, you can do it uh, here in speaking or through the chat. Uh, 